Hey everybody, this is Jose, aka Dr. Logicate. And this is Ryan. For a while now, we've been sharing tips and tricks to help you build awesome toy boxes, but this time, you're really gonna drop the ball. What? That's rude. Oh, oh come on, it's because today we're going to show you how to make your own New Year's Eve ball drop. Oh. First things first. Uh, we're gonna make a skyscraper, and we're gonna cover it with flashy signs. You know, just like Times Square. That sounds good. Tall blocks in the basic blocks category will work great. To make them look energetic and colorful, we recommend customizations like the crumbling purple surface, the beautiful blue glitter, and the perfectly pink glitter. Fabulous! And then, we'll grab the glowy signs from the Big Hero 6 section of Building Sets Group 2. Then. Let's use pipe climbs from the platforming toys categories for the top pole, and that should do the trick. Now, let's have a ball! I see what you did there. I know. Well, let's stack a full dome and an upside down full dome and give them the core memory surface customization. Then, we'll place a path creator at the top of the pole and put the one path point right at the base. We'll go into the path creator properties and change the speed to 20 and then turn off auto start objects when connected. To connect the upside down full dome, we'll connect it to the path creator, then go into its path properties and change its movement style to one way and stop. We'll do the same thing to the full dome, but while in its properties we'll also change its vertical offset to 4, so it sits right on top of the upside down full dome. When we use the trigger to reset and stop the path creator, the dome pieces will be snapped into the right positions. We can connect another trigger that will make the path creator reset and play, but won't step on it until we're all ready. Okay, but You're forgetting something important. Here, Ryan, because what's a New Year's Eve ball drop without fireworks? True. Yeah, so we're gonna play some fireworks cannons and say that when the bottom path point is reached by an object, in this case the ball, the fireworks will go off. Then we'll also say that when the path creator is reset and played, it will start the countdown. This is done with text creators set to banner style with auto display next valid line set to on. Ooh, and for extra effect, we can add cheering sound effects whenever a countdown line of text is displayed. We can also connect the locator to the path creator, and also connect that locator to a target camera whose target, under its properties, is the locator. Then when we finally hit the reset and play trigger, the ball drops, the seconds count down, and... Happy, Happy New Year! Year! <laughs> <laughs> well, the only downside of this is having to keep your New Year's resolutions. Unless, obviously, the resolution is to build even more awesome toy boxes. That's my resolution. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> uh, that's it for this time. Leave any questions in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the Disney Infinity playlist for more in-depth tutorials on the awesome new 3.0 toy box. Catch you later.